Yo, good day, and welcome to another episode of Road FS Detail Memoirs, where everything is psychedelic. Yeah, I, I, we, we need a guest. I don't see. We need spot. a guest. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I, I, no. there he is. I had to get my 3D sunglasses 3D, on to man. see Clint Hintz. I, I just see I love it. It's kind of that red and blue kind of haze, <laughs> so I can kind of make out. But Rod, Rod's got the. Now I can see in your 3D. Your beard's <laughs> jumping out at me. It's all. Awesome. <laughs> Just reach all, out and grab him through the screen. It's all camera work, you know. <laughs> That's right. It's all in the kit. Post edit. So hey, thank you guys love for having me today. On. Love having Clint here today. Yeah. Um, as always, please go out and subscribe to the YouTube channel so we can keep doing these awesome videos. Uh, Clint, it's crazy. Rod and I were looking at that this morning. We over over two hundred fifty episodes on our YouTube channel. Wow. wow, dude, that is a lot of interviews. That's a it lot is. of information. A lot of education. A lot of just insight from other business owners and vendors. So a lot of complete BS. I mean, a it's lot just of that a lot too. of that's trash. Yeah, that yeah. I'm yeah. the BS balance. <laughs> so he is. He balances. <laughs> so so Clint, you are you are a long time uh, participant in this. You've been in this in many different uh, roles. Correct. Um, so let's talk about your new role and what you're doing. Well, so I'm with uh, 3D Products now, obviously. Um, I'm our uh, national business development manager. So really what they brought me in for was, um, as you guys know, you know, I've been around for, you know, a couple 24 hours and, um, you know, um, I know some folks out there and they were really just looking to kind of spread a little bit more of the distribution model, develop a little bit more of a distribution model in North America. Um, I mean, uh, 3D already sells to... 59 different countries, I think 57 different countries. Wow. Yeah, there's there's a huge e-commerce. Uh, we have a high visibility, even in the United States, especially in the United States with a PBE, paint and body. So really, I think that's what I was brought in for. Well, I know that's what I was brought in for, is to just try to kind of uh, rile up the North American market here and see what opportunities that, that we have. And you know, even though I haven't been in the liquids game for a long time, I've been doing accessories with Buff and Shine uh, for a number of years, uh, in which I enjoyed. It was a it was a great gig. So I was a little bit reluctant, honestly, um, because the whole process of me coming on board wasn't a minute. It was a couple of months, and there was a lot of moving parts. And uh, you know, it was one of those things that I said, you know, if I was going to make a move at some place that I was relatively happy, that I wanted to make sure it was the it was the real deal for me. So obviously my first call was Mike Phillips and, yep. uh, you know, he kind of chuckled when I called him and he said, what do you mean? He said, uh, of course, 3D is the real deal. He said, I would have never came here to work. And, uh, you know, I have a ton of respect for Mike and uh, I've been able to be down there actually for uh, two of his uh, long weekend classes. And I'll tell you, it's been good just to kind of get my skill set back going. You know, I, I realized, you know, I'm not a 25 year old guy out there that can, you know, train from the morning till night. But I wanted to kind of uh, tighten up my uh, my skill set. I wanted to learn the products a little bit better, in which I have taken the last couple of months to do so. So, uh, one thing that I can say is that the product line is the real deal. I mean, I've just had nothing but success from it. And if I was to leave and go do something else, that was the type of team I wanted to go play for. So, you know that that's an interesting thing that you said about the product lineup, right? Because when I was talking to Mike Phillips. He said, you know, before I made the jump to 3D, he goes, I was in my shop and I was working and I noticed that the product that I kept going for <laughs> eight times out of 10 was a 3D product. Yeah. And he goes, you know what? That helped him make the decision because he had naturally already been using and leaning towards 3D products. And so now we have this arsenal of, knowledge experience and leadership with you and mike phillips i mean it's just really exciting to see what's happening at 3d i mean we've just scraped the surface quite honestly especially here in north america you know it's uh, and you're right you know the, the the products when i i was able to do a tour in la uh well it's santa clarita in the valley uh where um 3D headquarters is, and yeah. I was very impressed in, in many different ways. Uh, number one, uh, they they had a very they have a very strong sense of team over there. The whole team they know how to communicate. 
Um, they know how to work together. And I noticed that right away in the short period of time. Uh, and again, you know, that's where the pressure comes on because you want to be that person that they can add to the team that you can, you know, actually uh, be, be beneficial. So, and I hope I have, but uh, one of the things that was really cool is that uh, that actual facility, which if you get online, you get on our website, you can see it, our, our home office. Uh, it's a district certified plan. What that means is uh, we do a system that's called an air quality management system. So I could have this a little bit wrong, but please nobody check on me and call me a fibber. <laughs> I believe once a day at the facility, somebody comes in from this outside company that we do not have to have. It's something that Tunch uh, was very passionate about his employees and uh, to go through and to check the air quality all throughout the building once a day, just to make sure that our employees have peace of mind that every single day they come into work, that they're coming into a safe uh, environment. And I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, we should do that cool. in our office because sometimes the air quality in here is not safe. Yeah, but that's just because uh, we're always cooking food. That's because we're always bringing food in here. So. <laughs> and leaving I'm it in the trash. <laughs> it could be the after effects of the food, too. Well, you that's never you, know. man. It's like, boom. <laughs> One thing I know about you two guys is you guys know where to get the good pizza pies out there. That's for sure. You know, yeah, we love we love good food, man. Especially if it's a pizza <laughs> the, or a the taco. The problem is, is Jody and I like it spicy. Yes, so. we do. So, so that what that was one of the questions I had is 3D is headquartered in California. We've yeah. actually been to a 3D facility. We went to a, a one cool. day a one day event with uh, Rennie Doyle PNS, and it was at a 3D facility. Cool. Um. And so one of the things is how, how, how many states do they have like a physical presence in? Cause that's one of the things I liked about the facility was that somebody could actually drive there if they wanted to be in person. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's, that's one of the, the, uh, the hills that we're climbing is to, you know, there's a lot of business models that you have going on. If you think about it, you know, we have an e-commerce, you have a strong uh, paint and body equipment line. You have a, a, a strong, a lot of overseas business, uh, and then you have a number of storefronts, which uh, the storefronts are mostly in California. So we're working with those storefronts. I mean, they were, our storefronts were, were some of the foundations of what, what really put us on the map there. So we want to support our storefronts and we want our storefronts to support 3D um, and working together. But you guys know with everything, you know, with change comes time. It comes yeah. time, it comes work, and it comes patience. And uh, those three things are not always to have, are, are the easiest things to have. But I think we're doing a great job as a team. And I, I like the strategy uh, of what we're thinking because, you know, the 3M marketing plan is not a six-month plan. You know, there's a short-range plan and a long-range plan, and I like the long-range plan. You know, yeah, I was watching um, <clears throat> Gary V the other day, and he had a whole thing about – um, speed. And he said, it's the big killer of innovation and businesses. Yeah. He said, everybody wants it now. And he said, that's the problem. He said, you look at all the businesses that are failing and it's because they want to figure out how to be a millionaire right now. And you yeah. you have to be in it for the long game. Um, I mean, Steve Harvey has a lot of stuff on that too. Yeah. You, you got to enjoy the process, right? It's like, you don't start out and go from zero to a million. Yeah. You don't start out and go from having zero products to 25. You, you have to enjoy the process and you have to um, <clears throat> celebrate that process, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. when you have one product that's released, you got to celebrate that. Yeah, maybe your end goal is to have 50 or to have 50 storefronts or whatever, but you have to celebrate those small wins along the way. And I think that's yeah. one of the things, I mean, honestly, it's one of the things I like about you as a person, Clint, is that you you want to be a positive force in the industry. Absolutely. It's not all about me, 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 me. It's not, not all about me, me. me. you know, <clears throat> peacocking i mean i know you and i are both devastatingly good looking and we could just tout about about how good looking we are but it's about helping the industry not just our own good looks no you're right no you're right hey, you need to put those 3d glasses back on because <laughs> your your vision is huh, huge. holy like, crap no okay, so that, you guys I mean, need to serious. send one of those to me you need to send yeah, a pair of those to me yeah. i mean the helping out the industry and just being a positive force and, and doing a good job is important i actually that was funny because I was talking to my youngest daughter about this. And one of the things I think that's lacking while listening to this Gary V and these Steve Harvey things I was listening to is people that care about the company. 
right? There's so many people these days that are just about me, 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 me. Yeah. And everybody can't be an independent business owner. There have to be people that work. And I, and I think it's awesome that you found a company that you enjoy that Mike Phillips enjoys yeah. that, that is providing a, a benefit to people training. I mean, I saw you at the training with, how was that being at the trainings with Mike Phillips being there doing that? It was awesome. I mean, you know, so, you know, it kind of comes with a quick story. I, you know, I was in LA at, at the, the home office and we were talking and Mike Phillips called and I had to make sure I let everybody at the phone or at the table know that, uh, sorry, Mike Phillips is calling. I have to go because I'm important. So, um, I go take the call and he says, Hey Clint, what are you doing at the end of uh, September? I think it was. And I said, I don't know. You know, you tell me, he said, well, I'm going to, you know, you and Chris Metcalf are going to come down and we're going to promote this and we're going to do that. And I said, you need an assistant? And he goes, yeah. And I said, so basically I'll be like filling up buckets and getting the cords out. And he goes, yeah. And so, I go, yeah, you need a whipping boy. Again, again, <laughs> Clint, you got to turn that around and think about it positive. Enjoy the process. Your arm candy. You are Mike Phillips <laughs> arm candy for the training events. It, right here to be 3D and over here to say arm candy. Oh, that's so awesome. Now, quite honestly, uh, Mike teaches just an amazing class. And I've, I've really had the chance to be able to, to, to be, uh, you know, I've had two things really in my career that I've been very lucky to see. And I've been able to lucky to tour a lot of manufacturing plants, um, mm -hmm. in which I won't name any of their names. Um, and I've also been able to work or go to training uh, and learn from the best in the industry. And it's like, yeah. you know, Mike, he has his... You know, he has his class, but he was, you know, he's very open to, hey, you know, this is Clint, what do you have to do? Or even a student, you know, mm -hmm. it's about learning. And Mike's big thing is if you're going to spend money and you're going to come here, you're not going to sit in a chair and watch. And let me tell you something. I slept for three days straight when I got back to school. <laughs> then oh, yeah. Four days. <laughs> You know, it's interesting because there's so many times that we, that we push people to do training. I think training is super invaluable. And I watched a guy go from uh, he went to Rennie Doyle's training, the full week long training. The next week Great he event. went to the Rupes training center. Great event. And then he was at Mike Phillips training in Florida. Trifecta. Trifecta. And and the thing about it is, is I saw, I, I know he was very attentive because I was at physically at one of the trainings that he was at. <clears throat> he was absolutely absorbing all of it. He's just a sponge. And, and I think that's the key to this is to, you know, he put aside his ego. You go to a training, you absorb everything you possibly can from anybody that's there and you move on, you know, yeah. you just go to the next one. So, I mean, we just, we just, Mike's passion just didn't stop like any single person that we could add to a class late or add to an IDA. Cause we did three days of classes and then we did a full day of IDASB. And I know you guys already know this, but you know, my passion stems from, you know, I, I've, I've had the ability to make a good life for myself by cleaning cars and mm -hmm. you know, I've gone a couple of different directions, but to me, the success is always about training and learning. And that goes for myself as well. You know, if I cannot go out there and have an open mind to learn from many people, not just the Jason Roses and the Rennies and the Mike Phillips, you know, from, uh, you know, a lot of various good training classes out there, then I'm the one that will be dying on the vine unless I keep learning. So that's just my passion when it comes to hands-on training. And at 3D, you don't watch. You put the right. bar in hand and you perform. And if you don't, your team has to come behind and then Mike or I or whomever works with you. And I, I loved it. It's a great way to set up a class. He should call them the 3D detailing boot camps because if you need three days of recovery afterwards, you know, he should just put you through the paces. He should have no, this. I, I'm teaching, so it'd I, be like it'd be Mike, Mike Phillips, Clint Hanson, one other person would be like, uh, 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 and they'd have their polisher. Chris Metcalf, Chris Metcalf and the polisher would flip out. I mean, it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's been great. And and actually, uh, I'm going to try to make it a regular thing when Mike does a class to go down there. Um, I actually got some very good leads from it. And, you know, I've always been the type of guy that, you know, there's no lead that's too small. You know, if, if you're just a guy or a gal in, in a little shop and you're interested in one bottle, I will take the time and talk with you. Now, that doesn't mean I can send, sell you direct or make you some smoking deal. But I'll make sure to give you an avenue to be able to get that product because, you know, if you learn it, 
I mean, from the, from the couple of decades I have done training, the, the best time to make those changes in your shop or with your process or procedures is directly after the training. Because what you'll do is you'll go back to your shop the next day and you'll go back to doing it a little bit. And then next thing you know, quite a bit of everything that you did would be gone. Yeah, I think that is a really important lesson for business owners. Because I remember when Rod and I worked at another software company, I was in the office early. I was managing the East Coast. I was on a, a conference call with this guy. I had it, had it on speaker and the, the new CEO came in. Okay. And he's listening me, to me talk to this guy. And I could see he was getting kind of antsy, like, man, get off the phone kind of. And I'm like, I'm giving this guy my full attention. <clears throat> and soon as I hung up the phone, he goes, why are you wasting your time with that guy? He's never going to buy from us. Wow. <laughs> I said, you're right. He's never going to buy from us, but he will buy from me. There you go. Because you there's go. somebody in his circle mm -hmm. that is probably at some future mm -hmm. two weeks, mm -hmm. three months, six months that they're going to go, Hey, what about this? Do you know anybody that does that? Who's the person he's going to turn to me? Exactly. Right? So while he may not do business with us, he will do business with me because I've taken the time to, to listen to him, to be courteous, to be understanding, to dig into what he really needed instead of trying to sell, 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 sell. You got to solve problems. And I think the, the one thing I think about is, as uh, you know, we're not, we don't sell any products, but if I were a product company, Everybody buys their first pad or their first bottle of polish and you have no idea what their roadmap is. Yep. You know, when you take a look at somebody like uh, Justin Lobato or uh, Daryl Lyons that oh came God. up really fast. Yeah. And they, within a five or six year period, the level yeah. that they got to, they bought their first mm -hmm. bottle of polish. They bought their first pad, their first product. No, they did their first point. And, and so you have to give the attention to those people because you don't know what their path is. They may be the next Jason Rose, the next Rennie Doyle, sure. the next Clint Mike Hintz. Phillips, Clint Hintz. I mean, holy cow. I mean, God. Reach for the sky. I can't here. even believe he's on the show. Oh, whatever. You guys are... So I can make sure it's really him. There Go is. on. You guys are going to make Oh, my blush. God. It's him. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't make me blush. So questions for the near future. Are, is 3D and Clint Hintz going to be at the SEMA show? We are. Uh, we are going to be in the West Hall. The booth number is 50073. Again, that's the West Hall 50073. There you uh, go. Mike Phillips will be in attendance. Uh, he'll be spinning on cars and doing Mike Phillips thing. Uh, and don't forget, you know, and, and I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but, you know, we have a very, very talented uh, trainer uh, uh, on the West Coast. He predominantly works out there, and his name is Frank Mendoza, Francisco. And uh, he will be at the show. He works a corner. Um, very talented guy. I mean, it's just, it's in some ways, you know, it was a little bit intimidating coming on board, you know, because, you know, here I was entrapped with, uh, you know, various people uh, that had a lot of skill set, you know, including, you know, who I mentioned, Tom Payne, a couple other guys that, you know, we do have working for us. So mm -hmm. um, it was really cool, but he'll be there. We have a large booth. We're going to be spinning on cars. We're going to be talking about innovation and compound abrasives and, uh, you know, anything that uh, anybody wants to talk about 3D. I will be there as well. So I don't want anybody to be shy to stop by and ask for Clint because I'd like awesome. to talk to you. Awesome. That's awesome. So kind of a <clears throat> sneak peek. Is there anything you can give us hints on what's coming or should we all wait with bated breath till SEMA? Oh, I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> you know, you know, quite honestly, you know, we've had a lot of innovation over uh, 2021 and 2022, especially in the area of, of uh, compound abrasives. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm never going to be able to explain this like uh, Mike Phillips, but, you know, it, it, and I don't know Tunch very well. We've just had a little communication, but I know of him well from, from way back in the day, believe it or not, when, when he purchased Warner Chemical way back in, that was early 2000s. So I knew who he was. Um, and I know that, you know, he, he has an extreme passion for quality and for innovation. He wants to be number one and he wants to do it in a unique way. And that was a whole nother reason that I was like, hmm, what's going on over here? What's yeah. going on over here that's maybe a little bit different? Because, again, guys, you know, I, I could have continued to sell buff pads and accessories and, and had a smile on my face on every podcast and every show. But, 
you know, we're always trying to better ourselves. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, how they say it, you know, if you're not first, you're last. And I was like, you know, maybe I'll uh, go check this thing out over there. But yeah. you know, one thing I wanted to bring up that was really unique. Another thing about the manufacturing process was, you know, I, I don't know much about this guy. So, so these aren't statistics, but I know that a lot of the, uh, the major uh, uh, manufacturers um, that produce their own compounds predominantly, you know, they'll use, they buy powders, they buy their powders from St. Gobain or, you know, there's other companies, there's a couple of them. Um, and then they bring them in and they make their little cake formula. Okay. Well, Tunja's philosophy was, well, if I buy from where everybody else buys from, how am I ever going to have anything unique? Maybe a little unique here, a little unique there. And then, and I had never seen this in all the places that I've been was that we actually mill to a powder our abrasives. Wow. And I, that's definitely one of the easy, when somebody says, Hey, Clint, why 3d? That's one of the first things that I say for right now, it's pretty unique. There's just not a lot out there. That's exactly like it. And don't think that we're not behind the drawing boards looking for the next big thing. So. Yeah. That's, 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 that's kind of like, it's kind of like me. I'm the most unique. I'm, <laughs> I'm uniquer than anybody else. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> hey you know what if it, you gotta play your specialty that's right so yeah. that's if weird good. is your specialty go with it. that's it yeah. so, so well that's super cool man well we're we're really excited about what we're seeing at 3d you know we had uh, mike phillips on a couple weeks ago yeah. for, about a yeah. month ago so make sure yeah. to go check out that episode i'll, I'll put yeah. a link into the comments and uh, we're just excited uh, excited to see where we're you're going I, I love what you said it's like i still have to grow right yep. and so clearly this is an opportunity for you not only to grow but also bring a new dimension a 3d dimension Ooh, to the market look at you that know? i know you know he can play the game <laughs> <laughs> so how do people get in touch with you man well, it's real easy. Um, I'm an email guy. I'm still on uh, uh, Instagram as Dr. Clinto. Uh, uh, my Facebook is Clint Hints. Um, and my email is very simple. It's Clint at 3dproducts.com. Nothing uh, special in there. Anybody has any questions? How do I get this? What do we do about that? Where are you going to be? How can I get that? You know, I will respond to everyone. Awesome. awesome. He will too. I he can will. He's that. very good at responding. So, so. Well, so if you're going to be at FEMA, stop by and talk to Clint. Yeah, you get absolutely. To all you know, people. Um, you we know, we're going to be there. We're going to be at SEMA. So we'll be bopping around doing live broadcasts all the entire week long. It's pretty much all we're going to do is just walk around and yak and bullshit with everybody. So that's our we goal. We do that well. It says on our agenda <laughs> go there, BS, be seen. Be yeah. seen, look good. <laughs> well, I'm good. No, I'm looking forward. I'm gonna. I got a couple other things to do, but I'm gonna hit Rennie's event, and uh, yep. I got a team building event, and I, I would. I'm, well, I need to see what when Justin Day's event is. I might try to swing my head over there too. Yep, we have a, we have some exciting yeah. things coming up. So yes, you guys do. should stay tuned because there's gonna be a couple of announcements at SEMA that involve yeah, us. Yeah, we got some and, cool uh, We got going some on. really big stuff coming in. So um, that's cool. SEMA cool. Mobile Tech. We we SEMA got a good aggressive it's, plan. It's a very aggressive plan. So and, I love uh, it. So it's gonna be fun. So well, thank you so much for taking the time to join us, guys. Are tuned pleasure, in. Guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And next week, who do we have? I don't know. Yeah, Me? you do. Evans. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like, dude, oh, Chris Evans? Evans makes the appointment. <laughs> <Chris> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I know. That. <laughs> you guys tune in next Evans? week for tune our special guest. So we will have uh, that will be posted up next week. Oh, cool. Um, we have events all the way through, and like I said, we'll be at SEMA doing all that. Um, you know, go out and create a Facebook. Go out and create a, a Google account for your dog, so your dog can subscribe to our channel. I mean, we <laughs> come on, man. This is this <laughs> over two hundred and fifty <clears throat> episodes, baby. So go right. check it out. Two hundred and fifty. So. Everybody, you want to know. So tune in. If you got questions, get a hold of Clint. Um, get a hold of us. If you can't find either of us, then you really don't know how to use the internet. No. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. If you well, have any questions, you. Uh, you can always get on our website, www.3dproducts.com. Awesome, man. Well, you have a great day, and we will check you same time, same bad channel just next week. Sounds good, Stay brother. Looking forward to seeing you guys. 
Yep. Ditto, brother. You have a great day, man. You too.